the alcaldes and deputy alcaldes were officially sworn in by Chief Magistrate Anne Marie Smith, who was also guest speaker at the event. I want to speak to you about some of the qualities that a good judge or a good alcalde should possess. A good alcalde, a good magistrate, a good judge must be patient. There are times when the persons who are come before you um, are not very good in whatever language they speak, whether it is a, the, your Mayan language or whether it is English. Be patient with them. Help them along. Listen to them. Courage, which is extremely important. As I said before, there are going to be pressures on you. Be strong in the face of courage. Stand up for what you believe is right. Do not back down for what you believe to be the right thing. Incorruptibility. Be the alcalde that cannot be bought. Be the one that is not going to take a bribe. Be the one that will say no. Incorruptibility is one of the main um, qualities that a good judge should have. Another gift or another quality that the alcalde or a judge should have is a gift or the, the quality of sympathy. You should be sympathetic and be able to empathize with the people who come before you. Also, have a nice and a good sense of humor. In the execution of your functions, a judge or an alcalde has to exercise patience and alertness so that he can hear all the arguments of the contending parties to a dispute and arrive at a wise decision. The life of a judge is exposed, and when I say judge, I also mean alcalde, is sometimes exposed to danger. Sometimes, even after his retirement from judicial service, people will want to take revenge against you. Therefore, a good judge, and by extension, a good alcalde, is also a man or woman of courage. I would also like to add that an, an, sorry, that an alcalde must also be hard working. There are going to be days when you have lots and lots of cases. Stay and finish the work. Finally, I just want to say to you that I hope you all will do very well as alcalde. You all will be courageous. You all will be patient. And never, ever forget to see the bright side and the funny side. Chief Magistrate On Marie Smith additionally focused on the issues of integrity, independence, and fairness as the three extremely important issues to judges, magistrates, and by extension, the alcaldes in their decision on any case or dispute that will come before them in the execution of their respective duties and responsibilities. Another main speaker was the legal counsel for the Toledo Alcaldes Association and Maya Leaders Alliance, Attorney Antoinette Moore. I spoke to the incoming alcaldes on the issue of rights, particularly the rights that are set out in the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. This is a document that was adopted by the United Nations, uh, signed off on by Belize in 2007. And it talks about the rights of indigenous peoples, such as the Maya people, to be respected for their distinct customs and culture and tradition. It also talks about the rights of the Maya people or any indigenous peoples to their traditionally held land. And if they hold that land in a way that is different than the rest of the country, that cultural um, institution should be respect it, and they have a right to hold their land in that cultural and traditional way. Um, I also spoke to the incoming alcaldes about the need for them to be responsible to their communities in upholding Maya tradition, Maya custom, Maya culture for those unborn, and a responsibility also to those who came before them, to their ancestors. They remain one of the few institutions left in this country that is not partisan or that is not self-interested, but that in fact represents a community that community respects generally across the board, and I hope that it can remain that way. Attorney Antoinette Moore. Other speakers included Ministry of Local Governance Rural Development Coordinator Ernest Bunner, 
Acting Officer in Command Toledo Police Formation Inspector Arnold Dominguez and Toledo Alcaldes Association President Alfonso Call. Three females were included in the 78 Alcaldes and Deputy Alcaldes comprising 76 from the Toledo District and one Alcalde and Deputy Alcalde from Maya Mopan Village in the Stan Creek District. Reporting for Love News, Paul Mahone, Ponagorda.